how to be able to be alone and enjoy your time. I have heard quite some people tell me uh, recently that they can't spend their time alone or at least they can but they will feel depressed and wanting to have people around them again because it triggers uh, all kinds of loneliness or sadness um, just feeling depressed somehow by not having people around them so in this video i hope i will help you with that if you're facing the same problem um, I can tell for myself that I love being alone, honestly. I don't mind spending two days with not seeing anyone, just being in my house, doing some work, reading some books, meditating, whatever. So I think I'll be able to give you some great advice on it. I think a very important thing is that you can enjoy your own energy. And you can practice this also when you're being with other people. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just feeling yourself and uh, kind of appreciating yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to uh, feel that you're perfect, but just some feeling of, hmm, I like spending my life with me. Just some feeling of, I like myself. And I don't think you have to be a very special person to have that kind of feelings. I think everyone can practice that. Um, it's a feeling of just being satisfied with being yourself. So it's a feeling of, I don't need to do um, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to be able to not do anything for hours and hours on end, but it can be just this awareness that comes to you when you're in between a few activities and you have a moment of just relaxing into your own being. And you can feel that you're, you're, you're wonderful and you don't need anything more than just being on that moment. You can just enjoy your own presence. So yes, probably there are obstacles to that and probably they're different for every person. Maybe you don't like yourself. Maybe, maybe you have a lot of self-hating thoughts. Maybe you think you're a failure or maybe you think you have uh, done things wrong or you're an egoist. So um, can be many more things. These are just examples. And the thing is that if you get to spend some alone time, and these kind of things come up when you try to enjoy your own presence, then take a look at them. Become aware of what's blocking you from appreciating your own energy. And when you can pinpoint down what those obstacles are, you can start to work with them. And um, it would be too much to go into that in this video, um, but I might make some related videos later. Um, but you can definitely work with whatever psychological problems you find in yourself. And it just takes some creativity. Uh, for example, say that you think you're a failure and that's why you don't like yourself. And so you cannot enjoy your own presence because you're just feeling bad about yourself all the time. Um, it might be helpful to uh, look into what kind of standards are you setting for yourself and probably also for other people and um, are those standards reasonable and why don't you deserve unconditional self-love regardless of how many failures you encounter in your life why don't you deserve unconditional self-love and um, so often the trick in your mind you can play is to start seeing the opposite. So you can ask yourself, what would be the opposite of self-hate? 
Or um, what would be the opposite of feeling like a failure? Or what would be the opposite of feeling guilty for things I, I have done wrong? And then see if you can embrace that other perspective as well. And have that new perspective in time replace the old, re the old perspective. So if you think of yourself as a failure, um, aren't there also a lot of things in your life that you have been doing well? If only just, you know, surviving and being pretty kind to other people, or at least trying, you know, or at least surviving. But, um, and why, and why do you even need those things anyway? Why don't you get unconditional self-love from yourself? Yeah, so it's really about starting to work with whatever is inside you. If you try to numb yourself, numb those uh, problems, those psychological problems, by just surrounding yourself with people all the time, you will never get to, um, to, to heal those parts of yourself. So I would say the best way to start being able to embrace alone time and be okay with not having people around you is to put yourself in situations where you don't have people around you and see what comes up and see if you can do anything about that. And if you don't have the creativity to work with it and find solutions in that way, maybe you can just Google it um or or ask me to make a video on the obstacle that you encounter um so you know there are probably many other people who struggle with quite similar problems as you had because we're also connected in society and um there are lots of patterns in how people raise children so um problems that have originated in your upbringing Probably there are others too with the same problems. And probably there has been someone writing an article on the topic or making a video on the topic or giving therapy to especially people with the same kind of problem. So the most important thing is really your willingness to start facing those things. And here you have to be aware of the fact that things are not getting worse when you find out what your problems are because they were there already. If you have been suppressing those kind of things by just surrounding yourself with people all the time, it might seem as if things get worse when you put yourself uh, with a lot of alone time and, you, and all these things get triggered and come up, but they were there already. So things are not getting worse, things are getting better because to solve a problem, you first need to really be aware of what the problem is. Makes sense, right? Um, so yeah, that's one part of it. Uh, to, you know, give some therapy to yourself. You don't need a psychologist. Yes, you can ask a psychologist to help you with it. But you don't necessarily, you can, you can heal yourself. You have a capability uh, of intelligence and creativity. So you can find out listen to yourself, what thoughts am I having, why am I feeling bad when I'm alone, can I do something about that, can I work with those problems, can I integrate it. Second part is just to find activities that you can enjoy on your own. And again I would say don't try to, um, <laughs> you can, but I would, you can numb yourself um, <laughs> with just activities, activities, activities. It's great to first, you know, spend some time on the therapy part, but don't expect it to necessarily uh, heal all your problems in one day. Sure, it's possible, um, but maybe you won't get there in one day. Maybe it's a process of quite some months or years to really enjoy yourself also when you're alone and not doing anything. Uh, so while you're going through that, it might be relaxing to spend some time on that and also spend some time on activities you can enjoy on your own. So maybe, uh, maybe there are certain topics that you're interested in and you can research it more. 
So for example, I'm spending a lot of time alone on the moment because I'm living in a city where I don't have many friends. And I like to, I'm following, for example, now through Gaia.com, a meditation course on Tantra. Um, I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'm also uh, using time to learn to sing. Or, you know, maybe you would like to learn to play an instrument. Or maybe you would like to learn more about um, quantum mechanics. <laughs> You know, I like to watch doc documentaries, for example, or learn more about how to have a healthy lifestyle. Um, I like to do yoga on the beach here. So there's so much that you can enjoy yourself with. You just have to ask yourself, what would I really be interested in to learn or to do? So these are my thoughts on the topic. If you have any other thoughts you want to share with me, you can comment below. Also, I like to answer your questions if you have any. And, you know, if you have a question for me or something you would like me to make a video on, yeah, you can also let me know in the comments below. Have a great day. Namaste.